Hi, this is Gregory Abston from Professional Medical Education Association and the Laser Training Institute. I wanted to uh, just introduce to you our Medical Laser Safety Officer Program, or LSOs. Uh, the American National Standards Institute, or ANSI, Z136.3 Committee, sets standards for laser safety programs, which are managed by a laser safety officer. Although this is an American standard, most countries uh, follow the ANSI standards in one form or another. The purpose of the laser safety program and the safety officer is not direct patient treatment safety. That's up to the clinician. They should be properly trained on how to do procedures. Of course, it's important. But the role of the laser safety officer is to manage um, a safe working environment for the staff, the user, and the patient in as much as it's not part of their actual treatment itself. That program can be very organized and that's what a laser safety officer does is to put together these programs, monitor them and maintain them. It includes things like making sure everyone has been properly trained and has the appropriate credentials or certificates of training. They monitor the um, maintenance of the equipment, the calibrations and service work that's done on it. They ensure that the proper signs are posted, uh, that people wear glasses when they should, they're the ones that actually determine the nominal hazard zone, which is where you wear glasses and can vary uh, from laser to laser and procedure to procedure. So in our course on medical laser safety officers, it starts with um, the basic laser and energy concepts, then practical laser safety practices, and then finally moves up into the administrative matters, reviewing the answer ANSI laser safety program, um, their recommendations, uh, it goes through how to uh, set up and establish that program and talks a little bit about some of the recommendations like doing periodic safety audits, audits um, incident reports and the like. So this is for a manager. The laser safety officer is a manager. Every facility is supposed to have one, whether you're a small aesthetic practice where the, the principal practitioner can be the LSO or in a large medical facility, they all do the same thing. Now, ANSI also recommends laser certifications, which are a separate issue for laser safety officers, but they don't require those. Um, you can do that if you want. The NCLC has a uh, certified medical laser safety officer certification. The review outlines for the exams are free up on the lasercertification.org website. And IMA, among many other proctors, is able to administer those exams if you like. So take a look at our medical laser safety officer course. Uh, and if I can answer any questions, please uh, feel free to contact me at lasertraining.org. Thanks.